One of my favorite new features of TouchOS C Mark II is the ability to create interfaces and layouts in any device. If you weren't aware of that as a feature, I, I, that's massive. I could create a TouchOS C layout on my phone, on my iPad, and use that across any of my devices. We'll talk about how to do that in a future video, but in this video, I wanna show you how to set up an editor network because one of the best ways to implement this is to create a design, a layout, a device on, for instance, your computer, and in real time, preview it and see it on an iPhone or an iPad or on the actual device that you're going to be running it on. So in this video, I'm gonna share a preview lesson from my TouchOS C course that I just recently finished where I walk through how to set up an editor network um, so that you could create layouts on one device and see them in real time on another device. This is an amazing feature on TouchOS C. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. So let's check it out. Okay, so hopefully at this point, you've got your device connected to your computer to control Ableton Live. Uh, now we're getting to the point where we wanna start designing an interface. We wanna start seeing what this would look like. Um, what's really great with TouchOS C Mark II is we no longer have to do this weird thing, if you remember on Mark I, the first version, where we have to create on our computer and then like upload to our iPad to see it. So 100%, I could go to my iPad and uh, just create directly on my iPad if I wanted to. Like that's that's a new thing, that's super great. But something that I found that's uh, that I really like is this new idea of an editor network that's included in uh, TouchOS C Mark II. And what this means is it would allow me to create on my computer and then preview the results in real time on my iPad. And in fact, I could uh, create this on my computer and preview on however many d different devices I want at the same time. The way they do this is by using something called the editor network, setting one of our devices to be a server, then using our other devices to be the clients. And as many clients as we want can join that particular server. So in this case, let's use my computer and I'm gonna use my computer to be the server. We'll set that up and then we'll join on my iPad to be the client and I'll show you what this looks like. It's it's pretty stinking cool. Okay, so over on my computer, uh, and I should mention, both of these devices are on the same network connected via wireless. They both have the same IP address. So I, I feel good. I know they're both gonna see each other. So I'm gonna go uh, up to our editor toolbar here we'll go to uh, the far right where we see this Wi-Fi Wi-Fi icon. Uh, it looks like Wi-Fi, it's, it's not. And you see editor network, we're gonna click server and we want to enable this and then hit close. Uh, I should mention you can only have one server at a time, but you can have as many clients as you want uh, connected to that server. Now let's go over to our iPad. We'll go to the same icon this time. Uh, server, we wanna make sure this is disabled, but when we go to client, you'll see uh, available servers from Mac Mini. I'll get some uh, info here, uh, different, I guess, ports or things I could connect to. I just hit connect, right? Um, it almost looks like something goes wrong, like something bad happened when I did this because my screen goes black. But if you look in the upper right hand corner, you'll notice that there's the, the little uh, button to exit control surface mode to get back to editor mode. So here's what's cool about this. Let's go back to my computer. I'm gonna right click and create a box and then I'll take you immediately to my iPad and you'll see the box show up. Now, let me keep you on the iPad. I'm gonna do the same thing and I can move this around in real time. So over on my computer is where I'm making these changes, but I'm previewing this over on the iPad, um, which is again, pretty stinking cool. Like this is this is pretty neat to, to be able to see this. Uh, so again, what's nice about this is you have one server and then you can connect multiple um, clients to that server. And we can actually do this in reverse. I don't know why I would wanna do this, but let's let's show you how to do this in case uh, you want to. So I'm gonna exit control surface mode, we'll hit okay. One thing that's cool is now um, on this device, I have the, at least the last state of my template that I created loaded on my device, which is cool. Let's do this in reverse. So we're gonna go to editor network, go to server, we'll enable server here. Let's go back to our Mac mini. You'll see how quickly this is possible. I'm gonna disable server here, go to client. Now we see iPad, we're gonna hit connect. And now whatever I do on my iPad is gonna show up on my computer. So let's go back to my iPad. We'll add a box here. Let's go back to my computer. You see the box show up. So I can make this bigger on the iPad if I want to. Oh, let's click into it, make it bigger. Then it shows up bigger on the computer. Um, so again, I think it's probably better. I mean, I guess that's kind of nice to like pinch and zoom on the iPad itself. I think it's probably better to start on the computer, sync to the iPad. Uh, but again, any number of devices can be clients connected to that server. So that's how to set up a editor network so you can create a one device, preview on the others in real time. 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed a look at that lesson from my Touch OSC course. In that course, I show you how to control Ableton Live uh, with Touch OSC, how to design and create your own interfaces, as well as how to control Touch OSC with Ableton Live. So I walk you through how to send MIDI commands to Touch OSC to change pages, to keep faders in sync. Um, if you're interested in Touch OSC, I think you're going to enjoy it. To check out that course, you could head to from studio.stage.com slash subscribe. When you subscribe, you get access to the Touch OSC course plus every other course I have on the site, plus you get credits that you can use in the shop. You get access to the exclusive community, exclusive discounts just for you as a subscriber, plus a monthly call each week, uh, each month, where you can join me and the rest of the uh, From Studio Stage students where we can talk about anything, Touch OSC, Ableton Live, and I will answer your questions. Now, you can get all of this and you can subscribe monthly or annually. For more details, for pricing, head to fromstudiotostage.com slash subscribe. And if this is your first time here, on the YouTube channel, do me a favor, hit subscribe to the channel. I post a new video every single day, 10 a.m. Central, every day, Monday through Sunday, 10 a.m. Central. If you like content like this, you'll love the channel. Hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.